We don't want our oceans to warm, especially not here in such a cold climate. Um, we want to keep it nice and cold so that all these animals stay here, find their food here, and that we can continue to enjoy them for years and years to come. Um, so these animals uh, really do deserve a home just as beautiful as they are. Um, and I hope today you learned to, or you learned a little bit about them, and you also, you know, hopefully it inspired some more love in your hearts for these animals because we do tend to protect what we love. Um, and I hope you do that going forward. Um, thank you so much for coming with us out there, and thanks for listening to my uh, rants right now. I know you have literally nowhere else to go, so you have no choice, but thank you. <laughs> anyway, um, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day here. If you do have any questions, once again, my name is Karina, um, Steve, and Donna. We're all here to answer questions if you have them. But if not, that's okay too. And I hope you had a great rest of your day um, here in Long Beach. Thanks again. It's going to be smaller schooling fish or squid um, or um, something we didn't get to talk about all together, but I'm sure you heard some of our volunteers say um, is baleen. Uh, is it, or not baleen. So if they have baleen, they have uh, prey a little bit different. It's going to be things like krill or plankton, but any and all of those animals need that cold water. So we want to be able to um, ensure that the water here off of our coast stays cold um, as it should. Um, so one way that we can do that is actually reducing our carbon. It's like waves breaking on a, on, on a beach or something like that. Um, that's going to be splashes made by dolphins or other types of animals. Like I said, we're going to be on the open ocean. So there's nothing really for waves to kind of splash onto except for animals. So um, keep an eye out for splashes as well. It's the now the third and final sign of life and of my particular favorite is going to be blows. So we are looking for whales today. Whales are marine mammals, which means they're mammals like you and I. They have to come up to the surface to breathe. They breathe air just like we do. Thank you very much. Um, and so they're going to be coming up. I will have back on if I see anything. If you guys see anything before us, um, then let us know. Come find one of us or even listen downstairs. Just let us know. Uh, and we will come that way if you see it too. Uh, so once again, keep your eyes peeled. Uh, another thing is Oh, dear. Oh, dear. 
I tell you, Brazil, wow, it's just wow, man. All right. Incredible hunters. So they're very good at working as a team. Um, sometimes we'll see them corralling like entire schools of fish. Um, or they'll do something called bubble netting, where they'll actually blow bubbles and net a bunch of fish in together um, and then take turns. Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. Um, and then take turns kind of going into the center and, and taking as much as they can and then go back out and just, uh, they're, they're, they're very much so about teamwork. Um, and so other animals recognize that too, how successful they are. And the things like sea lions, things like birds, um, larger whales, uh, seals, all these other types of animals will tend to hang out near dolphins when they're feeding so they can kind of get their leftovers. So as you can see, there's a few birds in the area just kind of waiting <laughs> for their for their leftovers if they are feeding. Looks like right now they're kind of just playing, but um, either way, beautiful sight to see. Now a good rule of thumb to calculate how many dolphins um, are there are is by whatever you can see on the surface at once and then double it. So there's hundreds of dolphins with us right here um, and they're kind of super spread out as well. So it's almost wherever you look you got to do a new equation because <laughs> they're just everywhere. Um, but another thing that's super fun to talk about is their um, their coloration. So since they're jumping up and out of the water, we can see essentially what their entire body looks like. We can tell that the tops of them are nice and dark, while the underside is really uh, bright white. That type of counter, er, that type of camouflage is called counter shading. Um, and that is really helpful so that they, um, their predators can't really see them as well or something like their prey. They blend into uh, learning how to swim with her. So if you see these kind of crazy acrobatic jumps and you see two happening at the same time, one's a little bit bigger, one's a little bit smaller, they're teaching them how to play. Um, dolphins, not only are they um, very um, social, but they're also very curious and extremely intelligent. Um, their brain mass to body size ratio is just that under ours. So they're super intelligent. I like to think that they're smarter than me. Um, of course, to each their own. Uh, maybe I'm a little bit biased, but um, they are super, super smart. There's lots of studies being done on them. I heard lots of splashing. I heard a few, a few slight blows. A little bit hard from where I'm standing, but hopefully you all down.